Well, we can go to Warsaw, where our political editor, Darren McCaffrey, has been following the race for us. Darren, good morning to you. So Duda's win has been confirmed, but it was a, a very tight one. So he's now got the task, doesn't he, of governing a, a, what is a very divided country. Yeah, when you look at the results, uh, you realise just how divided uh, Poland is in many regards. Uh, Rosie, let me just talk you through those results. These are uh, preliminary results, it must be said, from uh, the Electoral uh, Commission, saying that uh, Andrzej Duda got 51.21% of the vote, whereas uh, Truskowski got 48.79%. Now, turnout, um, as we expected, was very, very high at some 68.12%. Uh, uh, what the Electoral Commission this morning is saying that it is now uh, essential Essentially, practically impossible uh, for Truskowski to win uh, this election. Now, that's not to say uh, that it is possible that these results may well be uh, disputed, given how close it still remains. Um, we know that there have been reports of uh, trouble with people having to vote in countries, particularly outside of Poland. Polish people uh, are allowed to vote in presidential elections if they live outside of the country. And it is possible, we don't know yet, but it is possible that Truskowski may well uh, decide uh, to challenge uh, this result. Uh, but you're right in pointing out, either way, it is very close and it is a sign uh, just of how divided uh, Poland is along, it must be said, you know, lines that we've seen elsewhere in Europe between a candidate that presented a socially conservative of agenda in President Duda, uh, someone who uh, wanted to see continuing high welfare uh, spending uh, against someone who was for very much a liberal, a pro-European in Truskowski, someone uh, who campaigned to say that he wanted to unite uh, uh, Poland and also that he wanted uh, to respect the rights of minorities, particularly uh, the gay community, who, it must be said, have been a focus in this election, given attacks uh, from the Law and Justice Party and, indeed, it must be said, from President Duda himself. These candidates had very different approaches when it came to Poland's relationship with the EU. Duda does really criticise the European Union, but he depends on their funding for a lot of his welfare policies. So how's that relationship going to work? And also from Brussels' perspective, are they going to try and rein the Polish president in a little bit more over the next few years? Well, we have to remember, first of all, I mean, the president is slightly different from the government in the sense that uh, the president is primarily a figurehead, um, you know, it's the head of state, the head of the army, for example. Uh, they're not actually in government. However, it is a mixed constitution here in Poland and the president does have some powers, particularly to veto uh, legislation. And it's clear that President Duda, even though he's not from uh, the same political party officially, uh, because you're not allowed to be a member of the political party as president, uh, that he is from the law and justice stable, uh, so to speak. And that means that, yes, you are likely to see uh, that on the easy relationship with Brussels uh, continue. We are like to see uh, those reforms to the judiciary, much subjected to by uh, the European Commission, continue uh, as well. And I think it is going to be a continually uh, difficult relationship uh, with the European uh, Union. But what will be interesting is, given how, result, how close this result is, and given the very fact that an enormous amount of polls feel uh, you know, that they're not terribly happy with the president's uh, government in terms of its approach. Uh, will that mean that things may well change here? Analysts seem to think not, that it will be very much business as usual. Uh, but it is possible that, you know what, President Duda might look at this and have a, a reflection on the result, and the Law and Justice Party might do the same. And we might change, see a change in tack or at least a change in tone uh, as we go forward. Uh, but we're not expecting any more national elections here in Poland for another three years until 20. 2023. Thank you for talking us through the results. Darren McCaffrey, our political editor in Warsaw.